Hey, what's up, guys? Boxing with B. Hey, what about the paycheck? All right. So this weekend we saw Charlo versus Castaño. Let's just go straight into that. That whole fight, I think, was better than people anticipated. It I was would say it was a war. The guy, the the Argentine came to fight. Charlo was favored. We saw the Argentino come in and actually show no fear. No fear. He went in there and gave Charlo. He backed him up, put him on the ropes, and Charlo had to adjust. Yes, Charlo did hurt her um Castaño in the second, I think, and in the tenth. He hurt him well, two you know rounds what? Castaño, very notably. The third round, he stunned Charlo. Yes, he did. They both had their moments, but I think, in my opinion, um, I don't know. I would say Castaño showed a little more. I think he had the edge. It was it was a close. He fight. wanted. He had a little bit more hunger because he wanted these belts. Yes, you know. But you know what? Leading up to the fight, too, Charlo mentioned a lot of things. He kept saying, you know, because Castaño said, "I'm not really that nervous. We're in his hometown. He has a lot. It's all on him." And Charlo was kind of like, "I'm not. That's not on me." He got kind of defensive. Yeah, about it. All I know is every time fighters go back to their home state to try to make a fight, usually they don't do too good. Usually, you know, they could do better. Should have done it in Vegas. Big fight like that. Yeah. Or not even Vegas, you know, even at the Dallas Stadium. Well, despite where it was, I mean, Dallas is still Texas. Yes, it's though. still Texas. Yeah. He's from Texas. So despite what it was, I think that was a great fight. Like if you tuned into it, each round had you on the edge of your seat. Yeah. You didn't know what was going to happen because... Charlo, you can't count him out. Yeah, he was kind of getting beat on the ropes, but at the same time, he was still exploding back. Yes. And then in the 10th, when you kind of thought, oh, it was already done, like, you know, Castaño figured out Charlo, get him on the ropes, put the pressure on, really adjust and take control of the fight. No, here comes Charlo. And then Charlo, for him to to hurt Castaño in the 10th, it gave you like that, that understanding of like, you know, he says, I have power. What I have is different. It's like, Yep. He does have power. He could change the fight with one punch. Exactly. One punch. And and then when it's like uh, Castaño was in aggressive mode, he was going at him. He was trying to take charge. And then for for Charlo to, to counter and land that and hurt him, it could have been a big turning point. Yeah. But the other guy was still there. Yeah. He, he, got he hurt. never went down. No. Nope. Never touched the canvas. Neither fighter touched the canvas. Both these things, you know, the only thing about the Argentines are great. They have a they had a soccer team that just won. All right. Oh, yeah. Messi. Yeah, and a lot Messi, of the fans had yeah. the Messi shirts. He had the, They're he, very prideful. Oh, yeah. He got he got his World Cup, the Gold Cup, or uh, I can't remember what cup it was, but it Whatever, was for the Americas. Won. Yeah, yeah. He won it before he could never win it, and they won it. So that gave a lot of pride. So that's why I think he threw that He's out there, too. coming off that win kind of thing coming from his country. Coming off to keep on going. Messi did it. Now I need to represent my country and boxing and represent. Yeah, and not only that, but think about the other fighters that come from Argentina that give you great fights, that put oh. on these performances. And you know what? They don't think about what is the status of this American fighter? Like, what? how well-known is he? They kind of put that past him. Like, Marcos Maidana, he's also from Argentina. You got but Sergio you got the, Martinez. Well, yeah, you got the most famous one of all. Maravilla. Sir, Maravilla. Sergio Martinez that shocked the world when he knocked out Paul Williams. Shocked the world when he, you know, beat Chavez Jr. when Chavez Jr. was up there. Yeah, and that, they're strong fighters. They're yes. strong fighters. But th- I mentioned Marcos Maidana first because Maidana, when he fought Floyd, I, I personally don't think that Maidana won in that first first fight with him. But a lot of people did think that. And that was because he went in there and he was aggressive. He didn't try to fight Floyd Mayweather's fight. No, He, he fought tried. his own fight. And at the end, when they asked him to, when they were interviewing him, he, he was like, to me, I mean, he's just Floyd Mayweather. I don't see him as the greatest boxer. I don't see him. Basically, he was saying he doesn't see him where everybody's kind of putting well, him on his what? pedestal. You to him, what? it was just another opponent. And that's kind of what we saw here. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Mayweather just gave him... I, Took him lightly, all right? Yeah. Mayweather, to me, is the best fighter of our generation. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to say just the mentality oh, yeah. that the Argentino had, which was, at that time, Chino Maidana. Yeah. He had that mentality of, like, I'm in. I'm just in the ring. This is yeah, another fighter. Sportsmen. That's it. So they, they, take their, they take pride in their, in their so sports. So seeing this, this fight around, it's like, Charlo has, like, you know, he was... He was on the pedestal because he he put on these performances. He's well known. He sells the fights. You know, he's exciting to watch. So then you see this guy from Argentina show up and he just sees another opponent in the ring. He doesn't That's the way see you do it. That's the way you he should do it. He doesn't see Charlo. No this fear. Knows he maybe superstar. Comes in there showing that he's gonna get a good fight. Yeah. And gonna try to beat him. Yeah. You know, not showing nothing. Not, not oh, this guy can't hurt me. Let's do this. Come yeah. on. Yeah. If he wants to box, we'll box. If he wants to slug, I'm waiting for him. Yeah, and that's why I say this fight 
made this the, these two styles made for a great fight. Yeah, they did. The Can't only disappointing the part at the end would be the the scorecards. We don't have to touch too much into it because it's always a, a problem. There's always one judge that screws it all Why up. Why do you have to say 117 to 111 when we all know it was a close fight for Charlo's trainer, even in the 12th, to say you need a knockout? Yeah, you but know? you know what? These, these judges are like, I, just, I loved it. I loved it when Chris Ariola put him in check. <laughs> yeah. Chris Ariola, you're, you're the man. You put these guys in check. Like you said, what the f- are they looking at? Come on. Call it right. I'm sorry if you use that language. I know I'm not supposed to, but. It's okay, I'll bleep it out. But. These judges need to, you know, they, they need to realize this guy this is their lifeline. Yeah, and they're work, right? they're working for this. They it's not just an overnight fight like that. Yeah. All right. One guy was undefeated. Yeah. Well, it happens to a lot of people. It's not just one guy. No, it's no, not no. But this example. guy, you know, he's coming undefeated. You know, Charlo's a great fighter, but I love Charlo. You know, I, I wish it would have been a knockout that I was calling for, but this kid showed up. Yeah. You no, know, Argentina showed up. I mean, overall, like I said. Despite that scorecard of 117 to 111, that doesn't define the fight. The fight was a great fight. Yes, it was. Would we want to see a rematch? Yes. yes. And then I think a rematch, go- a trilogy? Yes. I think there is going to be a rematch. For sure. There has to be. I think Charlo's going to be a different story now because he knows what this guy's... going to do his homework. Yeah, but, but you can't you know, count out Castaño. going to get the other kid. Same thing. Yeah. He's going to learn. So hopefully it's a great, you know, the rematch is a great fight like yeah. Sergio Martinez versus Paul Williams. The first one was like this. It, but the only thing uh, that... Uh, was different between Sergio Martinez and Bobby. They knocked each other down. Yeah. All right? And then... They, I mean, they were close yeah, here, but they, they and didn't. And then they got one study that they were a little bit better, it looked like, in the rematch because one punch cha changed the whole picture, the whole situation. Because the poor yeah. Paul Williams, he goes, what the hell hit me? Flash KO. Yeah, he didn't know what happened and, until they told him it was a left hook that got you. Yeah. And, you know, Paul Williams has never been down. In my yeah. So one of these guys is going to learn from his mistakes capitalize from his mistakes and change the outcome of the fight. It's a chess match. Yes, it is. Whoever makes the better move, one move could change it all. You know, just like one punch punch can change change it it all all too. So anyways, let us know what you think. I know, I mean, how many of you guys agree that 117 to 111 is 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 just wrong? wrong? And then what were your, what what were your thoughts? Did you, did you guys think Charlo won that fight? Do you think it should have been Castaño or do you agree with the, with the draw? Either way, let us know. We want to hear what you guys think. But before you exit this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And that's it, right? Watch the video to the end. Thank you. Lights out.